Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday evening, December 7th. It's 8.45 p.m. And I was uh, saw that my notification bell had a 1 on it. After I had cleared up some comments, there was 1 again. So I looked at it, and it said he believed that Congress had voted to divide Israel. So I did some research, and here is an article that I will share with you, and it's from jpost.com. Arab-Israeli conflict, U.S. House approves resolution support. I will put that in the description box so you can pull it up yourself and check. This. Boy, the ads are terrible on some of these sites. Um... All right, it says, oh, Jerusalem Post. That's what J Post is. Okay, I, I consider them a good source. The U.S. House passes, well, I say that. I don't know that they're any much better than our mainstream media. I can't say one way or the other. I'll move on. The U.S. House passes resolution supporting the two-state solution and this was nine hours ago and I'm surprised they even had time to, to work about this because it seems like they're busy trying to impeach our president uh, which I was listening to a video about that earlier and one guy was really giving somebody uh, heck <laughs> I mean, he really knew his stuff, rattling off. You know, he was ready for them. You know, that was, he was on President Trump's side, a Republican. Okay, so anyway, they made time for this. So they passed this resolution. The resolution comes amid recent discussion in Israel regarding the possibility of annexing sections of the West Bank in Area C, including the Jordan Valley and some Israeli settlements. It's dated December 7th by Omri Namias, the Jerusalem Post staff, at 1952 so that's 752 my time but uh that could be their time which means it was a long time ago but um when i pulled it up it said seven hours ago all right house speaker nancy pelosi democrat of california administrate administers the oath of the office to House members. Okay, they're talking about the, uh, they're labeling this big picture here of all the people there to vote. Okay, the U.S. House of Representatives approved on Friday a resolution expressing support for a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict while also warning Israel against any attempts toward annexation of territory in the West Bank. Hmm. The resolution was non-binding and was an expression of disapproval aimed at the Trump administration's reversal of U.S. policy regarding the legality of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. The resolution passed 226 to 188 and split according to party with most Democrats voting in favor and most Republicans opposed. Oh, they don't know their Bible, do they? Images of London rabbis, attackers revealed. Oh, this is read more related articles. Let me skip that. 
For more than 20 years, American presidents from both political parties and Israeli prime ministers have supported reaching a two-state solution that establishes a democratic Palestinian state to coexist peacefully and constructively side by side with a democratic Israel, said Jewish Democratic Representative Jamie Raskin from Maryland's 8th Congressional District. Well, this is true. America has been trying to get them to agree to a two-state solution for years. I remember when Clinton was having the leader of Israel and a Palestinian guy, I can't remember their names, meet at Camp David. I think he did it a couple of times. He thought if he got them out of their country and put them in a their Camp David, where they having a good old relaxed time, he could get them to agree to their what we wanted them to do. So, see, President Trump is not the only. Wow, my computer just jumped. That whole article just moved. It's been doing that lately. Okay, it didn't go far. Anyway, so this has been going on for more than 20 years. All right. Where was I? Uh, let's see. For more than 20 years, American presidents from both political parties and Israeli prime ministers have supported reaching a two-state solution that establishes a democratic Palestinian state to coexist peacefully and constructively side by side with a democratic Israel, said Jewish Democratic Representative Jamie Raskin from Maryland's 8th Congressional District. Middle East peace talks have favored two-state solution and opposed settlement expansions, moves toward unilateral annexation of territories, Raskin added. That doesn't even make sense. Middle East peace talks have favored the two-state solution and opposed settlement expansions, moves toward unilateral annexation of territories. Okay, whatever. Raskin added, any U.S., which is in blue, I guess you can click on that and learn about the U.S., any U.S. proposal that fails to endorse a two-state solution will put a peaceful end of the conflict out of reach. Democrat Rashida T.I. I, I can't say that. Oh, that may be an L. Tlaib voted against the resolution stating that this resolution not only endorses an un... Boy, that plane's flying low. An unrealistic, unattainable solution. One that is real has made impossible, but also one that legitimizes inequality, ethnic discrimination, and inhumane conditions. I don't think they're ever going to please the Palestinians. That's, that's my opinion. Prime Minister, and this is in quotes, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Likud, the, and the Lik, L-I-K-U-D party have actively fought against a two-state solution and took steps to ensure its demise, she added. Well, let, let me just throw this in right here. The only, the only way that's going to happen, honestly, 
just me thinking, okay, and I'm not a political person and I don't know a whole lot about all their laws and this and that. I just know God gave Israel that land. That land belongs to Israel. But the Palestinians moved in and they squatted on it while the Israelis were scattered. Okay, so then God pulls them back into Israel. Let's face it, God did that. That was a miracle. That, that a, a country that hasn't been a country for how long? Since 70 AD. Came back to their own land. But now you've got these other people living on it. The only way to get rid of them would be to force wherever they came from to take them back. And they should. That's where the argument ought to be going. But I don't hear anybody talking about making them go back to Jordan or anything else like that. So what are you going to do? Shoot them all down to get rid of them? They're not going to do that. The Israelis have been being kind and good to them. So you got, they're so evil. To Instead of saying, well, thank you for letting us stay in your land. It's, well, we've been here and then you came back and, you know, this is called Palestine now anyway. You know, whatever. It's like, it's like kids fighting in a playground to me. I don't know. Maybe I just don't fully understand. I'll move on. All right, so this prime minister, uh, this person said that they, Prime Minister Netanyahu and this Likud party have actively fought against a two-state solution and took steps to ensure its demise, she added. And they don't add, well, let me see if they, if they offer their solution. They increased their illegal taking of Palestinian homes and imprisoned more Palestinian children than ever before and are building more walls. They imprisoned them. Democratic House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, <clears throat> known for being a supporter of Israel, in reference to the solution, said that it is a restatement of America's policy of supporting the two-state solution. And you can click on this, and there's some video running, but the sound must be turned down. The pictures keep changing. So apparently they're really short videos that just keep playing or the pictures are in that video, whatever. The resolution comes and recent discussion. Quit doing that. It moved. The resolution comes and recent discussion in Israel regarding the possibility of annexing sections of the West Bank under Area C including the Jordan Valley and some Israeli settlements and the recent decision of the Trump administration regarding the legality of settlements in the area. Jack Rosen, president of the American Jewish Congress, welcomed the vote. I'll just stop it here. And y'all can click the link in the description box. If you want to read it and you can't see the description box, let me know. I'll put it in comment and pin it to the top. But it's the Jerusalem Post. And the article is U.S. House Passes Resolution Supporting Two-State solution. Why is it even up to us? Why are we voting on it? 
I guess we're just voting on the fact that we're supporting it. Like we haven't been already for 20 years or so. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Thought that y'all should know. This brings us one step closer to the judgment of God for trying to split his land, the land he gave to Israel. And this country so guilty of so much. I mean, that's just piling on one more thing. And, you know, I I watched a video of uh, a young lady. Let's see, what is her name? Um, Crazy about Jesus, y'all. I had used to watch her, and then I didn't. And someone sent me a link. Uh, not that I remember anything wrong with her I just got away from watching so many different people that's all as far as I can remember and she had was talking about her dreams and um, about her uncle dying before Christmas and she was going on about some articles and so I'll post that as well if you're interested in finding out more about what's going on right now. There's a lot of talk about rapture right after Christmas. Pearl Caleri has been shown more things and I wouldn't discount I would not discount her just because she was wrong about July 17th if you're still with me. She does talk about 717 and 71717. Uh, I can't explain it. But it's kind of like, what? And she gets into that I Pet Goat 2 video and she gives credit to the ones who left in the comments of her videos the information from the iPad Go To video that she uses. And it's just very interesting. So, um, and hers is not the only one. But I'll link them in the description box. And, um, and you all can watch those if you're interested. All right, so I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices as well as our, your internet connections. And as I've said before, I haven't felt led. To, I, I, I just am not being felt led to go anywhere else and if they I'm being very careful in what I say and report that it is not for children I'm making sure my videos are marked they are not for children and other people are saying this is so not about all that they're trying to get rid of all Christian channels especially if you do not um, monetize and it was God's gifts if you like her, she's talking about how she is not going to monetize. And I believe she said she's not going to another platform unless she's led or so. I'm not sure exactly what she said, so I don't want to say. But that she was not going to monetize what she was freely given, she will freely give. Well... You know, I understand all that. That's what people often quote. The folks don't understand that making videos and replying to comments and answering emails to where that's all you do all day long is a job. It has become a job. And for people to think that they shouldn't support the ones with now and then love offering that they watch the most 
they're they're not thinking straight and to not donate for the poor which I know a lot of you hate you hate me saying that I don't know a lot of you can't afford it you can't I know that because once I've given what I can and then somebody says I I'm uh, about to be homeless or I've got kids to feed and I can't give any more you know I uh, I know how it is when you're on a fixed income or even a job and all you make is what you make you're basically on a fixed income and you've got your budget set for that now that I've got internet I bought my own internet to, to keep this going. <laughs> it looks like I may not be able to keep it going. So I'm like, well, Lord, the only thing I can think is it's time to go. I keep thinking that the Lord is not going to let us take them take away our way of fellowship without bringing us home he's telling us to come out of her my people come out of those churches that are lying that are not teaching us that are not uh, speaking of the Holy Spirit they won't even preach about the Holy Spirit a lot of them won't uh, they don't mention the Holy Spirit there are some that don't even talk about being born again and now the few that do, okay, wonderful. If you can find one that's Holy Spirit filled, you better be helping to make sure there's a prayer team going on. Before every service, that prayer team needs to show up and walk around that church and rebuke any demons that have been sent to keep anybody from hearing, to, from growing from getting filled with the Holy Spirit, from getting the gifts that they're asking for. Those kind of churches are being attacked the worst. And I know that's what has happened to a lot of people that used to go to church. If it was a good church and you wondered why all of a sudden they're this way or they're that way or they're acting like this or that or quit completely and now they're in the world and they don't go to any church and they won't listen to to you where before they talked with you about things and you agreed and now they're not it's because the churches that had good pastors good praise and worship people were actually serving the Lord, I mean, praising the Lord, worshiping the Lord, those churches had the most demons sent to them, evil spirits. They lacked an adequate prayer team to pray down that somebody should have been praise, pleading the blood of Jesus over their, their churches, over everybody that goes, over every pew, uh, you know, just like I do for our homes every night. And if they had some kind of prayer team going on, they weren't praying the right stuff. They might have been praying, oh Lord, soften their hearts, open their ears, help the pastor preach the right words. But if they weren't battling the demons, if they were of the knowledge that, oh, Christians can't be bothered by demons because we have the Holy Spirit in us. And that is a lie and it's been taught in the churches. People think that if you're born again, you do not have to worry about demons coming into you. If somebody lays hands on you and they got a religious spirit or a spirit of jealousy uh, spirit of condemnation or whatever and they got their hands on you and they're praying in their tongue which is the false one they have a kundalini spirit 
and probably all kind of demons, and Satan will have them impart the ones on that person that he wants imparted. Yes, it happens. And that's why Jesus doesn't want us going to those, any church and, unless you know in your heart you got the right kind of discernment. You got, you better hope you've got the, enough discernment and wisdom that there aren't any in where you go. If you have any doubt, just don't let anybody lay hands on you. All right? That part of the Old Testament is over. I'm going to say it flat out. Unless you know the person. If you know them, it's different. Then it's okay. Just be careful. If you still go to churches, it's just be careful who you let lay hands on you. The Bible even says, there's a scripture. I know it says don't be quick to lay hands on anyone. But that's really talking about don't be quick. To anoint somebody into a, a position of deacon or uh, something like that. You have to make sure you know them. That's what they're talking about. But it goes two ways. Just don't be quick to let just anybody lay hands on you. Okay. And I don't know even how I got off on that. But must have been needing to be said to somebody. I'm going to miss this, but I hope it means we're in heaven so soon that we won't even really have time to miss each other. I hope our, my channel doesn't go down. I hope the Lord, this is another one of their plans that he foils. And, you know, it's really December 31st when it goes into full action but I'm going to leave my email address God help me not to forget all this stuff well I'll be listening back to what I said and if I've I'll jot it down everything that I said and uh, the site keeps switching because of the pictures that's what it's doing so you may want to click on the link and check it out if this may be a video I don't know I think it's just pictures but anyway, I'll say bye for now. I love you all. And um, I will talk to you later. And I hope, I hope, I hope if we don't go to heaven, it will still be on here. Or the Lord will lead me to where to go. It's got to be one or the other. I don't believe he will take away our fellowship and leave us here on earth all alone unless it's because we've all been spending too much time on here and not enough with him and that's possible so with that I'll say bye for now and I'll talk to you later one way or another